five victims in three months, all male, ranging in the age of 21 to 54 years old, all shot in the late hours of the night. This is Psych Yeah, we don't want to do anything to scare your children. That's the last thing we want to do. We don't want to scare anybody. There's no shooting in your neighborhood. I just want to know what they're doing. Please, please, Hi everyone, welcome back. I'm S.M. Cornthwaite, and today we're going to be talking about the Stockton, California serial killer. Uh, this news article was presented to me by one of my co-hosts on the podcast, which we haven't filmed in a while because I've been so busy finishing my most recent book, uh, the one right in the middle there. The Haunting of Hell's Hollow, which is out now on Amazon, uh, so check it out. Uh, but when Esme sent this to me, uh, I did a little, little bit of research into it, and I've come up with a profile so, from what we know so far. Uh, but let me go ahead and relay the information to you, uh, the details of the murders. I apologize for the background noise. I've got the windows open. It's a beautiful day outside here in central Illinois. Um, one of the few we're going to have left of the season uh, before it starts getting cold, so I'm going to enjoy it. Uh, but the first murder took place on July 8th. 35-year-old white male Paul Alexander Yaw was shot at the 5600 block of Kermit Lane at 12.31 a.m. and died at the hospital. Yaw's mother said he was unhoused at the time of his murder, meaning he was homeless. Then on August 11th, 43-year-old Salvador William DeBeauty Jr., I may have gotten that name wrong uh, on the pronunciation, I'm not sure, uh, but he was killed in a parking lot at the 4900 block of West Lane at 9.49 p.m. Uh, officers found him with a gunshot wound and started life-saving measures. He died at the scene of the shooting. Uh, the, we've only got pictures for three of the victims. Uh, these next two, there's no image associated with. Uh, on August 30th, a 21-year-old Hispanic man was killed at the 800 block of East Hammer Lane at 6.41 a.m. Um, I'm not sure if that's when he was shot or if that's when he was found. Uh, all the others seem to take place over the course of the uh, night when it's dark. Uh, this one, uh, it, it says at 6.41 a.m., but that could just be when he was found. Uh, I'm going to look into that a little bit further, and I will give updates on this case as it progresses. Uh, the next one, September 21st, 52-year-old Hispanic man was killed at the 4,400 4, block of Manchester Avenue at 4.27 a.m. Uh, when officers arrived, they found the man on the sidewalk with a gunshot wound. He was pronounced dead at the scene. And then on September 27th, 54-year-old Lorenzo Lopez was killed at the 900 block of Porter Avenue at 1.51 a.m. Now, here's part of what I found, what I've discovered. Um, I brought up a map of each of the crime scenes, and I brought up uh, Google Maps to so that I can zoom in on the areas uh, to find a common denominator. What I found with the first three uh, victims where they were literally within feet of a public transit bus stop. Uh, the one on Kermit Lane is literally right around the corner from the park, uh, from the bus stop. Uh, West Lane and Hammer Lane, they were within just a few feet. <clears throat> um, the problem with this, though, is that the most recent two on, the one on Porter Avenue... And Manchester Avenue, there doesn't appear to be a uh, public transit bus stop uh, close by. But what I did find was that they are within relatively close proximity 
to San Joaquin Delta College. Um, they are both on opposite sides of the college, uh, which tells me that the unsub likely attends the college. Uh, he may even live in one of the dorms there or lives on campus in one of the houses. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, but that's what it looks like to me. Uh, now, what I learned about the public transit in uh, Stockton, California, is that they close at 5 p.m. And I think they open at 8 in the morning, 8 or 9 in the morning, close at 5 p.m. So there is no overnight uh, bus routes or transit. Uh, so if the unsub uh, attends San Joaquin Delta College, uh, lives there, whatever, uh, it's likely that he used the bus to travel to the first three sites to scope out the locations, to find an exit strategy, to get to know the areas a little bit, uh, in order to make for an easy getaway. Uh, being that the other two were so close to the college, they were within walking distance of the college, uh, he was likely just out walking before he uh, killed the most recent two victims. Uh, these murders bear a striking similarity to uh, four of the murders that we've covered on this channel. Uh, the Texarkana Phantom, Edward Edwards, Son of Sam, and Zodiac. The difference, however, there's two differences. The first one being, this killer seems to only be after individuals, um, crimes of opportunity. None of them were mugged. None of them were robbed. Uh, they were just shot and left there. Uh, whereas with the previous four killers, uh, they all killed couples aside from maybe one of their victims was alone. This one appears to only be killing individuals who are out alone at night. Uh, so that tells me that he's a thrill killer. He's not doing it to for a sexual release, uh, even though it is technically considered sexual homicide. Uh, he's more or less doing it for an adrenaline rush. Uh, what this also tells me that he's since he's using a gun in the commission of his crimes, that tells me that. He likely has military experience. Uh, and what we see with these types of killers is they were often discharged from the military early into their uh, careers, uh, early into their training even. Uh, so he likely, once he was discharged from the military, he likely went and enrolled at San Joaquin Delta College. Uh, this would put him at probably his mid twenties. Uh, it's unusual to find a serial killer who's any younger than 25. It's not, it's not unheard of, but it's unusual. So I'm going to put this killer at right at about 25 years old. I'm going to say he's a white male because most serial killers are white males. Uh, I don't think, uh, ethnicity of the victims played any kind of a role in these crimes whatsoever because as we've seen that mo the majority of them were killed late at night when it's dark so i don't really think he was looking for um a specific a specific ethnicity which also kind of lends credit to the idea that this wasn't sexually motivated this was more of for an adrenaline rush. Uh, uh, also, what we know about these types of killers is they're most serial killers are looking for careers where they have authority, uh, power, control, where they can have dominance over others. 
If he's a student at San Joaquin Delta College, he's likely a sociology major, uh, perhaps uh, criminal justice, and looking to perhaps eventually become a police officer. Um, I mean, son of Sam, he he was in the military. Uh, he look he tried to uh, become a police officer, settled for being a uh, working in the uh, United States Postal Service. Uh, Edward Edwards, I believe he tried to become a police officer. Um, our theory of the Texarkana Phantom, uh, he was a sheriff's deputy. If you guys remember, go ch- if not, go check out that video on our podcast. Uh, so I'm willing to bet he, he attends the college. He's a sociology major, likely criminal justice, looking for a career in law enforcement. Likely white male, um, military background. Probably discharged for either psychiatric reasons or for not following orders. Um, what we see with these guys is they have a real problem with authority, even though they want to be the authority. Uh, be, it's because of their narcissistic tendencies of the desire to have that authority that makes them incomplicit with authority. So... That's what I'm getting from this. Uh, Again, this profile might change uh, given more information as it's released. Uh, And I will try to keep this updated uh, as more information becomes available. uh, If these killings continue. Uh, Right now, (coughs) with the first killing, there was... A little over a month in between the first and second. uh, And then a little under a month between the second and third. Then again, a little bit more time, a little less time took place between the third and fourth. And even lesser time took place between the fourth and fifth. Which means his... uh, his resting period isn't uh, it isn't dragging on there there isn't as much of a resting period uh, anymore um, now s- since we haven't heard any of any new killings uh, we could see a return to the pattern of he he may take a little bit of a break now um uh, maybe a month. I don't think he's going to be able to go longer than that, longer than a month. Um, because he's relatively young, uh, he's not going to have that uh, willpower, that control to be able to uh, keep himself from killing for much longer than 31 days. Uh So that's it for Psych Macabre. I've been S.M. Cornthwaite. Uh, I'll try to keep you guys updated. Take care. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video. Give us a like, leave a comment below, and please share the video with your family and friends. I've been Shannon, and this has been Psychology of the Unknown.